keto lasagna, only five carbs per serving. That looked delicious. It's the best lasagna I can make. Let's make it. Well, I've finally perfected keto lasagna. I've been making this lasagna for years, and I don't think you can do better than this lasagna. Um, it's healthy. It's absolutely delicious. There's a lot of secrets involved in this that make it so good. Um, the recipe for this is below in the comments section. And I made the sauce the day before. And um, the secret to the sauce is hot Italian sausage and anise seed and uh, San Marzano tomatoes. And as I mentioned, the recipe's below. I make this the day before. So we're going to make two eight by eight pans today like this. Um, I'm gonna freeze one. One's for tonight for dinner and the other one will, be, will freeze. So what I'm going to do is split this meat mixture. This is uh, fresh ground chuck too, and you can't beat that. So I'm gonna take one quarter of it and put a quarter in the bottom of each one. Spread it out. San Marzano tomatoes, fresh ground chuck, can't be beat. Now, this zucchini is from the Global Bucket. Let's see it right here. And I just sliced it. I, I peeled it first and then sliced it really thin. So we're gonna put a layer on top of all of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some full fat ricotta cheese. And put that into a bowl. I have one beaten egg. We'll just mix that in. I'll take half that mixture and put it on top of the zucchini. Spread it out nicely, nice and even. If you don't want to use zucchini, you could use some eggplant. I'm not fussy on it though. The zucchini is really nice and moist. It cooks really well. This will all melt down in there and set up nicely. This is very low carb. There's only five carbs per serving. There's four servings in one of these. We would only eat half. Uh, between the two of us. Jennifer would have a quarter and I'd have a quarter. There we go. Now what we're going to do is go in the opposite direction with the zucchini. Fill in all the little holes. Just like that. I'm going to do a video on uh, the global bucket. It, um, it's such a fantastic way of growing uh, tomatoes and zucchinis and cucumbers and um, one little bucket um, of cherry tomatoes would yield about six to eight hundred in a season. Absolutely amazing. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to split the sauce again and put that on top of this. Just spread it around. Now in the recipe below, you're going to see I've given some choices on what you can do for the, the topping. And um, I'm going to put pepperoni on. That's one of my favorites. So I'll just put some pepperoni on the top. You can use bacon. And then I like um, 
pork rinds. So I put them into a dish like this and I take a plastic cup and I just crush them up. And then fresh grated mozzarella cheese. And I've got some Parmesan. I've shaved some Parmesan in there too. Real Parm. I'll put this in. I'm just going to mix it up with my hands. And I'll split that in between the two lasagnas. You could put in some hot peppers. Sometimes I put in jalapenos. Sliced up. Yeah, that's about half on that one. I'm going to cook this in direct. Um, uh, I'm going to cook it for about an hour and a half, about 90 minutes. And it could take up to two hours. Covered in foil until it's really hot and bubbly. And uh, we'll just stick a paring knife in, make sure it's all nicely cooked. The other one I'm going to freeze. You can do this in the oven if you like, but it's a beautiful day out. And I like to cook outside. Well, let's cook for 60 minutes today. It's kind of windy out, so I was burning a little hot. In the last 10 minutes, I took the tin foil off. Just to crisp up the outside. Let's have a look at this. As I mentioned before, you could put mushrooms in, you could put bacon bits, anything you want. That looks so good. That's the best, that's the best keto lasagna that I can make. Thanks for watching.